Hi, all you beauties. It's lovely to be here. So I grew up in a household of women, one of five sisters. Somebody always had a period in our house. <laughs> my dad was a general in the army, and he taught me about service and also to find my gift and to bring it to the world. My mother told us that we five girls were the greatest achievement of her life, at the same time as telling us not to get pregnant. <laughs> it is safe to say that I, like many women, grew up confused about what being a woman and being fertile meant. The only cautionary tale we had about our fertility was a teenage mum pushing her baby in a pram, excluded from school, life, and any sort of a future. Being a woman was something to be overcome, rather than celebrate it. I spent the past 25 years listening to the stories of women's life, and it's a real privilege, but it seems to me that loads of us are really confused about what makes us fertile and happy. Perhaps in our struggle for power and perfection, we lost something important along the way. Time, connection, and meaning. The fertile woman wants to create, and not just babies. She needs time to luxuriate. The fertile woman knows how to turn her wounds into wisdom. She is the keeper of hope. So I have learned that it's more fun to collaborate than it is to compete. And we have more fun when we do things together. I have also learned that for all our giving and doing, sometimes being and receiving is OK too. And I have also learned that our true nature is the fertile woman, fruitful, prolific, and abundant. And that that is a precious, precious gift, and we should never, ever give it away again. My name is Emma Cannon. I'm a fertility specialist, acupuncturist, storyteller, and a keeper of women's stories. Thank you.